All right, on to the next part. We've made mortar, we've got dry mix, and now we're mixing it and uh, we're gonna start putting it in the wall. I, uh, um, now as I make, I, as soon as I started to put this into the bucket, I could see that it appeared to be a little sandy. Um, and I wanna talk to you guys about how to, how to deal with that. Um, now this is a lime-based mortar, meaning that it is, it's two parts lime to one part uh, cement in the mix with the sand. Usually that means it's gonna need to slake. So you're gonna mix it and then let it set for a minute and then it's gonna harden up a little bit and you put a little more water in it and you mix it one more time and then it'll stay at about that consistency. Um, but the way you check it is you pick it up in your trowel, kind of tamp it out like this a little bit, you know, and then do this and then see how it sticks, okay? Um, for regular brickwork, if you're just laying regular brickwork, I think this would probably be okay, but I think it's a little sandy. And it's definitely too sandy uh, for what we're gonna do. And how that would affect you is it won't wanna come out of that bag. So when you go to push it, it's like it just, it, the sand won't let it release out of the bag. So the, the solution for that is to make it a little bit more rich, what we would call rich. Um, uh, but, and all that really means is sticky. So in this bucket here, I don't know if you can see, what I've got is a mixture of white Portland and lime already in the ratio, you know, two to one ratio here. And I've mixed it up and I'm just gonna add a little bit more into this bucket. It is gonna dry it out a little bit, but uh, what I'm trying to get to is just sticky as I need it to be sticky. So let's run the mixer and mix it up a little bit. Probably a good idea to put a little water on top of it. And um, when I mix, I usually will turn the mixer at different angles and go up and down and go across the top of the bucket, trying to clean it off and pull everything down into itself. Um, this is a little bit uh, drier than what I'd like to start with. So I'll put a little more water in it, mix it down. Um, the really nice thing about mixing, uh, the really nice thing about mixing this way is that you have really consistent mortar. You don't have clumps or things in your mortar. This will mix that stuff all up. And then if you do have something that's hard, you'll know it and you can pull it out. All right, rinse off your uh, mixing wand. Um, I, you know, from doing smaller work, from doing restoration work, I'm used to not really having a full masonry setup. So, you know, I'm not working off of uh, mud boards and things. We're usually working out of buckets. Um, and there are easier ways to work out of buckets. One of the ways is that you can make it like a stand. So you put something, debris, water, just enough to weight this bucket down. And then you can take your bucket you're working out of and you can set it at an angle. Don't drop it or it'll slush out. And then you can angle it down and you can pull and then pull your mud down to the outside of the lip. Now, you want your bag before you use it to be wet. So take a hose. Do that. Bag's wet. We're, we're over plastic. We're not mixing on top of their concrete or their pavers directly because this is going to get real messy out here. Um, trowel. Throw it into your bag. Uh, you can see it come out the end of the bag right there. So you always want to have plastic below you. And then maybe three decent trowelfuls. So about that much, like we talked about earlier. And then fold in, fold in, and roll down. And you can check it right when you start you usually want to check it to make sure your mortar is okay and, and it's coming out of that bag real easily okay so that's exactly where we want it this mortar is ready to use so let's put it in the wall and uh, see what happens next 